For six years, students enter their secondary schools for five days a week. When students enter their last year of schooling, they want to make the most of it. At this secondary school, the VCE students are given their own room to relax or study between classes. This is the common room. forward to the common room since year seven. It's finally out. I'm so happy to have it. Oh my god. The common room offers year 12 students a range of facilities. This includes spaces for study, sofas, whiteboards, and of course, a kitchen. So what do you do in the common room? I'm here most days at like recess and lunch. It's a study area, so it's obviously used for study. It's a good place to collaborate and work with other students who you have in your class. It's pretty great. Hey, has anyone seen my laptop? Oh my god! Are you serious? While the common room seems a place of rest, relaxation, where the Year 12s come together in their final year, the room often gets neglected. But I don't think I've ever seen anybody do their duties. All I ask is for somebody to vacuum, wipe the tables and clean up after themselves. Oh my god, are you kidding? There's a noodle in the sink. There's a noodle in the sink. Who did this? This student bears the burden of guilt for the noodle incident. She wishes to remain unidentified. I didn't do it on purpose. I was coming back to clean it up, but I just had to go see a teacher that walked past. I just wanted some lunch. Why do you wish to remain anonymous? Sandy's crazy. Everywhere else, she's the sweetest girl, but when it comes to the common room, you, you want to avoid her at all costs. She scares me a bit. This student isn't the only one who tries to evade Sandy and her common room. Yeah, I try to stay out of her way. I mean, the common room is unclean, but like, she's like the dictator of the common room. One noodle and your cup. I hardly ever go in. The only time I'm in there is when no one else is. One time I was in there alone, studying, and Sandy just came bursting in, complaining about the mess. It was traumatic. I don't care what they all say or think. I've been waiting for this common room forever. I'm not going to be locked out of it. No teacher is going to take this away. So I've decided I'm not going to yell at anyone anymore. I'm just going to leave these little reminders around for them. I mean, if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. At least I'll be reminded. The students of the nearby secondary boys' college are informed of the dogmatism surrounding the common room. I've heard how crazy it gets. The girls are always at each other's throats. It sounds pretty insane. Actually, actually it sounds pretty hot. I don't just go insane over this room for nothing. There's a reason for it. Each year, the Year 12s are threatened with the notion of locking the common room for the rest of the year. disaster. An absolute disaster. If you don't clean up, you lose all your privileges. I'm not going to let that happen. It's not my fault if you get locked out. I don't deserve it, but I get punished. It's not fair. Alright, can I just have everyone's attention, please? I don't want to make a big deal about this noodle situation, but I just want to know who left it in the sink. Sandy, it's one freaking noodle. One noodle? It's a matter of losing the common room. Can you please leave? Yeah, leave. Yeah. It's hard to get through a year with someone shouting at you about a room. Yeah, the most important part of this year is our schoolwork, not the common room. Yeah, it's our last year. And we have more important things than the common room. I mean, we have our VCE and we all want to make the most of this last year. We're all in this together and we all want to do our best. Next time on The Common Room. Can you clean up after yourselves? Oh my god, it's locked.